so far the game gear repair thons kind of been kicking me in the butt both of the units that i worked on ended up having faulty displays the unit from episode one pretty heavily corroded had issues reading the card no sound all of those issues were resolved but the display turned out to be faulty perhaps not too surprising given that there was evidence of corrosion on the main board but definitely more surprising for the unit from episode two which is a more recent va4 model very clean main board had no issues with sound or reading the card even before the recap, but the recap did not resolve the issues with the display. And this final unit is actually in really nice cosmetic condition. It's probably in the best overall condition out of the bunch. So let's go ahead and try this unit out. I'm still just using my Genesis Model 2 power adapter. So let's plug this guy in, turn it on. As you would expect, problems on the display. Let's check the volume. It looks like we're not getting any sound either. So from the looks of it, we have both horizontal lines running across the screen and those vertical artifacts similar to what we saw in episode two. All right. So we're going to find out if a recap is going to resolve the issues with this game gear, both in terms of restoring sound and getting the display to work properly. Now, similar to episodes one and two, I have printed out a capacitor diagram just to help me stay organized. And I have the VA1 capacitor kit, which I've already determined is the right capacitor kit for this model game gear that I have here today. All right, guys, well, wish me luck and let's see what happens to this game gear after the recap. Now, you guys have seen me take two of these apart already, so there's gonna be a lot less talking in this episode. Sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs>
Well guys, we are done and ready to test. The soundboard. Let's go ahead and attach a speaker to that. The power board. And a cart. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm really hoping we get a working screen on this one, guys. I really am. All right, moment of truth. Well, it is a Game Gear, so our expectations in terms of quality have to be reasonable. But it's totally working. Let's put this thing back together. I'm so excited, guys. You have no idea. I was going to be so bummed out if this unit did not work. I think this board is ready to go. We'll just set that aside. Now, as far as the case is concerned, so this is an original shell and it's actually in really nice condition. I know that I mentioned that I'd be doing a full recap and a case swap on the giveaway Game Gear. Now, I'm not ready to talk about the giveaway in this video. I'll upload a separate video about that, but I don't think that I even want to swap out the shell. The original shell is in such nice condition. I actually already bought the replacement and they do look nice. I mean, these aftermarket shells look really, really cool. Yeah. So I'm leaning towards keeping this unit original given the quality of the uh, case. And um, for the giveaway, I'll just offer the winner the case alongside with the Game Gear. So if they want to install it, they're welcome to. Um, I don't think there's a need to just given how nice this case looks. All right. Now let's quickly just clean these membranes. The best way that I've found to do that is by rubbing them on a piece of paper. So let's just use this piece of paper here and we're just gonna gently rub each button to remove any dirt or grime from the surface. This isn't necessarily something I do as part of routine cleaning, but for restorations definitely brings these buttons back to life. Last one. And those are gonna work as good as new. And I think that's looking pretty good. And now the soundboard and power board. And let's just make sure we get those fingerprints off. And the shield for the battery terminals. All right, that's on there good. Let's go ahead and marry the two halves together. Speaker cable, the soundboard cable, and the power board. And we are done, guys. We have a repaired and restored Game Gear. It's been fully recapped. It's resolved the issues it was having with no sound, as well as the much more common graphical artifacts that were appearing on the display. Nothing left to do but to test this guy out. Turn off the lights. The soundtrack takes me back 20 years. Holy cow. There we go. A little bit rusty.
Let's try and get that Krusty the Clown. Almost. Woo! Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of the Game Gear Repairthon, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. When I started, I'd never worked on a Game Gear before, and three systems in, I practically feel like an expert recapping these. So I'm actually quite eager to get my hands on another one and fix it up for myself, given that this is going to be the giveaway Game Gear. As much as I love the system and I'm eager to fix one up for myself, I've been working on nothing but Game Gears for the past month. So I'm eager to move on to something else. You don't want to miss the next episode. I'm going to be working on my first TurboGrafx-16 and I'm super, super pumped. I've been scouring eBay for months trying to find the right listing and I finally picked up not one, but two faulty TurboGrafx-16s that we're going to look at together and try and fix here on the channel. Until then, take care guys and I will see you again soon.